I bought a marine diesel engine on eBay, uh, oh, a good few months ago. Made a video uh, about that. Uh, I've since taken the engine to the uh, scrapyard and sold it. I did keep the uh, transmission because I wanted to see uh, what it looked like inside. So uh, this is a, uh, a short video of me uh, disassembling. Uh, I believe it's a Hirsch uh, marine transmission. About uh, it handled about 40 horsepower. Now, typically, what I do when uh, when I'm drilling out uh, metal by hand drill here, my Hitachi D10VH, which really cranks out nice with uh, AC power, is I drill a smaller hole, uh, and uh, I drill that. So, uh, since I'm doing a hand drill, I can't put a lot of pressure on the bill on the bit. So, uh, by doing a smaller drill, you can. that's about uh, down below the uh, depth of the head of the nut and I'll do the other uh, the other two I have to drill with the same size bit and then I move to a bigger bit okay I picked a, a drill bit uh, a little bigger than the uh, the screw uh, body diameter there. Well, in case I miss the center a little, I still have a chance of uh, getting the uh, bolt out. Now, since you pilot drilled this, the uh, chisel point of the uh, drill doesn't have to uh, doesn't have to uh, cut into the metal. So, it actually goes in pretty easy, but occasionally it'll bind as the uh, edges of the bit dig in too deep. Almost down to it. There, popped off. So that's the bolt uh, exposed there. This one over here didn't quite do as, as well. And now they're uh, drilled out. I've already tapped two out. And this one, I just started. So you can knock them out the bottom. That one's a little... That one will take a little more persuading with a, uh, a marrow or a pin. Punch. The others just came right on out. So now I can proceed to get the other ones that I can get a wrench on. The reason I had to uh, drill and punch those out was the, uh, the heads had corroded so bad that the uh, wrench just uh, spun around on it. So you find that on uh, uh, bolts on exhaust systems and whatever and you just got to drill them out. Uh, luckily these uh, were in a position where I didn't have to drill all the way down and re-thread them and that it was a bolt holding the two uh, clamshell halves together with a nut on the end. If they had been tapped down in there, um, well, a uh, steel bolt in aluminum, uh, you can imagine the uh, drill would have drifted off and ruined the threads. So I would, you know, it'd be a considerable job. This was fairly easy, actually. Okay, here's one of the, uh, the bolts removed, and you can see the... Uh, that's the size that the hex head should be and that's that one right there is the corroded head so there's no way you're going to get a wrench on that and uh, see the body of the bolt it all uh, corroded inside and and there's the drilled end that allowed me to uh, to knock it out by drilling the uh, the old bolt head off some pretty basic uh, stuff you gotta know when you're working on machinery I got got all the, I've got all the bolts out. I've, I've got all the bolts out, and uh, now I get to look inside, and I I don't know what's going to be in there. Ooh, 
Well, this is the part that the motor drives, and this is this goes to the shaft. So, you can see real quick that the uh, it would need new bearings right here, and have these uh, gears cleaned up. And I think this would be a uh, this thing might actually uh, come back to life, but these these two bearings here appear to be uh, totally shot, and they would have been low down. So I think I think it probably uh, it probably sat in water for a while. And those are the uh, the shifts. There you go. Oh, how about that? It turns. Oh, those bearings are really shot. Let me give you a close up on that. So you can see that that bearing right there is pretty bad off. You can see right in there there's rust in it, that ball bearing, or the tapered bearing, tapered roller bearing, and the same on this one. So those, that one would be have to be replaced in this one and then clean the gears up. And looks like there's a little rust on those plates, but I think it would all... Uh, right there. I think that would all clean up. Uh, you'd probably just want to replace all the bearings while you were at it. It's, uh, it's one of those things I just might not get around to in this lifetime, but uh, I'd never seen inside of one, uh, so now I know what's in there, and uh, perhaps I can interest somebody uh, locally in picking it up for a couple of bucks. And, uh, oh well. 60 years old and they're shot three three hours out of my life <laughs> but uh this is this is what i do for fun I, I actually enjoyed this i hope you enjoyed the video and you didn't have to get your hands all dirty and cut up to see what was inside so you, you're the lucky one here